Hey guys, it's Issy, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be reading you guys my personal statement. Um, this personal statement bagged me three interviews for graduate medicine and eventually a place at Warwick's Medical School. I'm starting in September and yeah, I'm excited. But shout out to Simply Fran. She inspired me to do this video. She read out her personal statement um, that got her into medicine at Oxford. It was really good advice about medical school and she's been doing a lot of live Q and A's recently with medical students. So yeah, go check it out. I'm gonna give a quick brief summary of how I structured my personal statement before I go on to read it. I split my personal statement into seven paragraphs. Um, in my intro, I spoke about why medicine, like why do I want to do medicine? Um, this is really important because this is where you draw the reader in, like this is where you spark their interest in you. So if there's a particular moment in your life that made you want to do medicine and embark on a journey, you should mention that. If there wasn't a particular like, oh my goodness moment that made you want to do medicine, what is it about medicine that interests you? Is it the problem solving side of things? Do you like you know, finding a solution to problem, the diagnosis, what, what is it that interests you about medicine? Like this bit, it's, it's personal to you. Be straightforward, be honest about your motivation to do medicine. Like if you didn't have that moment in your life, that's fine, not everybody does. Like just make sure that you're honest and make sure you're to the point. You really wanna capture the reader, you really wanna intrigue them because that's what's gonna keep them interested in the rest of your personal statement. In my next three paragraphs, I spoke about my, you know, my work experience. I reflected on it, like what did I learn from my experience? What did that tell me about the life of a doctor? What insight did that give me into being a doctor? Like it's important that you draw upon your experiences and you really talk about it. What skills and qualities do you have? So this is the next part of your essay where you talk about your skills and qualities and you talk about your insight into the challenges of being a doctor. In my sixth paragraph, I talked about my extracurricular activities, you know, because I'm a person and I like doing things other than studying. So I think it's good to show because it shows that you have a work-life balance. In my conclusion, I basically didn't introduce new information I spoke about the key points from my personal statement and you know highlighted what I wanted them to remember about me so yeah that's just it you're drawing upon the key points and you're highlighting them and finishing with a bang when I was reading it last week bearing in mind I'd not read it since February from my interview I was thinking this is very cringe but it got me into medicine so <laughs> yeah Oh yeah, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications before we get started. So let's go. My decision to study medicine is a committed and well-informed one. Alongside studying undergraduate medical sciences, I witnessed the day-to-day -day working life of doctors through my roles in the NHS. I am eager to grow my medical knowledge, take on the challenges of medicine, and be in a profession that improves individual lives through their health. As you can see here, my introduction is three sentences and it's very short and to the point. And my first sentence, I decided to make my first sentence like this. My decision to study medicine is a committed and well-informed one. It's to the point and it lets them know and it gives them a sense of, oh, okay, it's well-informed, you know, what does she do to inform herself? So it's sort of setting them up for like the rest of my essay. And then I went on to say that, you know, I've witnessed a day to work in life with doctors. I have the experience and this is what made me want to do medicine. And I've said why I want to do medicine. Um, I want to grow my medical knowledge and take on the challenges and I want to improve people's lives. But I've also shown that, you know, I'm about to show you that I've got the experience. I'm about to show you that I know what being a doctor is about. So it's sort of introducing it and showing that you're sure of your decision to do medicine. This is what I did anyway. And yeah, I quite like my introduction. And also my introduction, I did my introduction last because I wanted it to be strong. Like I wanted it to be like bang. And when I wrote like the rest of my essay, I sort of like had a more of idea of how I wanted to structure my intro to set them up for the rest of my essay as well as show my motivation to do medicine so personally i found it easier to do the introduction last so now i'm going to go on to like the body of my essay this is where i talk about 
my work experience and what I learned from my experiences and you know how that made me understand you know why I wanted to be a doctor and you know shows that I understand what the life of a doctor is about and the challenges etc. As a healthcare assistant at the Royal Devon and Exeter NHS Hospital I worked in a variety of departments. I recall a scenario in which a cardiologist took his time to explain to a patient the long-term consequences of her poorly controlled hypertension. His calm and sensitive manner helped put the patient at ease and ensured that she understood how to make better lifestyle choices. On reflection, this moment highlighted the importance of empathy in patient interaction, a hallmark of holistic care, which I endeavour to embody as a doctor. As you can see here, I've used a specific example. Like using specific examples have more of an impact because it makes it more personal. So I talked about the scenario where the cardiologist was like talking to the patient about her hypertension. And, you know, like it shows that I understand that, you know, empathy is import important, an important part of being a doctor. So it's showing that understanding that I know um, this attribute is important and I want to have this as well. I, I want to portray these attributes as well. So um, it's important if you can to try and include personal examples because they're more memorable and it's more personal and it shows that, you know, you've actually gone through it and reflected on specific things that have happened um, in your experience. It shows that I've learned something from my experience. Um, I'm going to move on to the next paragraph of my personal statement. I worked alongside other healthcare professionals to uphold the multidisciplinary team approach to care and improve my team working skills. This involved effective communication, mutual support and respect of others. I now work as an occupational therapy support worker at an NHS medium secure forensic mental health unit. By focusing on my communication and relationship with each patient, I support therapeutic sessions which help patients with varying mental health needs in their journeys to improve their conditions and gain their independence. I better understand how doctors' positive relationships with patients can improve their health because their needs are better understood and thus met. I will carry this into practice. So here I've talked about the skills I've gained from working in this uh, medium secure forensic unit that will make me a good doctor. For example, the communication skills. I've also shown that I can be empathetic with patients. So it's like, okay, what experiences do you have that you know shows that you can be empathetic, that shows you have the skills to be a good doctor? Like what skills have you learned from your experience? I've also gone on to talk about, you know, how like doing this has made me understand what it's like to be a doctor. So it's here I've said, I better understand how doctors' positive relationship with patients can improve their health because their needs are better understood and thus met. So from this experience, I've learned something about, you know, what doctors do. I've learned, I've got an insight into what doctors do. So it's good in your personal statement to show that you have insight into the life of a doctor. Obviously, you're not going to be exactly experiencing what doctors experience, but you have insight, you've learned something. So I'm going to continue uh, on to the next paragraph. I acknowledge the challenges of medicine. While shadowing a surgeon, I've witnessed the long working hours and grueling schedules that come with the career. Despite this, I admired the surgeon's leadership as he interacted with his team in a professional and calm manner under such high pressure. And I aspire to have his this strength. I know that this career is physically and mentally demanding, so I am preparing myself now. The rewards of building personal connections with patients and thus directly improving their lives inspires me to take on this challenge. I know that medicine is not perfect and not everything can be resolved, but every hour is worth it when I will have worked my hardest to improve each patient's quality of life. So with this, I, in my first sentence of this paragraph, I basically told them what I was going to talk about and preparing them for, okay, you acknowledge the challenges, what have you learned, 
what has made you acknowledge these challenges and then i've gone on to talk about the surgeon again i've used a specific example um this makes it more personal and more memorable so i've talked about his leadership and his schedules and how it was really difficult and I've said that, you know, I want to have this strength. So it's showing that these things are what attracted me to want to do medicine. And like I said, I've pre I'm preparing myself now, um, you know, through my experiences. And I've also talked about the fact that, you know, it's not perfect. All these things are difficult, but, you know, I know the rewards. There are still rewards to doing medicine, despite how challenging it is. So, yeah, I've spoken about it's challenging, but why do I still want to do it despite these challenges? So, you know, I think, yeah, I think this is quite good. I've said, you know, every hour is worth it, which, you know, that made me cringe a little bit, but, you know, I just wanted to stretch the fact that I really want to do this. And like, I've really reflected on my skill, on my, not my skills, I really reflected on my experiences. Like everything I did, I reflected on it and like, was like, okay, what is it about this that makes me want to do medicine? What have I learnt about being a doc, like being a doctor? The profession is not easy. They want to know that you know what you're doing. They want to know that you're going into this fully informed. So in the body of the essay, like in this part where I've talked about my work experience, I've really reflected on it, spoke about what I've learned about being a doctor and talked about the skills and qualities I have that will make me a good candidate for medical school. In my next paragraph, I spoke a little bit about extracurricular activities because they want to know that you have a life. Like, <laughs> as a doctor, it's going to be busy and they need to know that you can have a work-life balance, that you can do other things outside of medicine. If you like what I've been talking about so far, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. Yeah, I'm almost there. This is the last paragraph before the conclusion. Studying medical sciences has equipped me with a strong scientific foundation. I chose a lab-based final year research project on how dysfunctions in the pancreatic beta cell cytoskeleton could contribute to type 2 diabetes mellitus. To be honest, with this first sentence, well, second sentence, I could have, you know, made that a bit simpler because it's a mouthful. Like, I could have simplified that and said my final year research project was based on diabetes. I did not need to do all that like yeah try not to yeah try to be sim not too complicated you need to use simple sentences in this because yeah i struggle to get that in myself on to the next sentence this research paper gave me a deeper insight into disease mechanisms which i hope to learn even more about in my medical degree at university, I enjoyed being a representative for the African and Caribbean Society, where I organised social events to educate students about our cultures. As a sprinter in the athletics club, I trained and competed in regional sporting events. I was motivated and disciplined to organise my time alongside my studies. Skills I have improved through all my activities at university and job now. As you can see, I've related it to, you know, I've done all these things and, you know, and I, I was able to still do well in university and shows that I'm organised. So, yeah, you need to show that you're organised and you can prioritise your workload because in medical school, um, you know, you might have some work to do and you still want to have a social life as well. So they need to, sh to see that you can do that. My desire to educate students about healthcare is reflected in my work as treasurer of the Medical Leadership and Management Society, where I manage finances and liaise with healthcare professionals to organise talks, workshops and lab tours. So in this paragraph, I've spoken about, you know, the extracurricular things I've done, other things I've done outside of um, you know, uni outside of medicine, such as sports and doing societies. Um, and I also related my degree uh, to like the things I've studied, the science to, you know, medicine and saying I want to learn more about disease. So I think, you know, I kind of made this personal as well. Uh, yeah, so with the um, this section where you're talking about extracurriculars and stuff. You can also put like other achievements that you've achieved outside of the academics, like things that you've done, 
you know, they want to know about you. You need to show yourself off. So that's something that's important. They have, you know, 4,000 characters to do this. So you need to put in as much as you can to show the best version of you in a way. I'm going to now talk about my um, conclusion. Educational and vocational experiences have given me insight into medicine, which has inspired me and I'm not deterred by the challenges. I want to continue to learn both intellectually and practically every day through a medical career. I am improving the skills and qualities that will help me excel in this career. And I hope to embody these as a doctor to better the quality of life for each patient. So in the conclusion of my essay, I didn't introduce anything that I haven't already spoken about in my personal statement. So like I said, the education and vocation experiences have given me insight into medicine. Within my personal statement, I've already spoken about, you know, the vocational experiences, such as my work in the NHS, you know, doing research in uni. These things have given me insight. These things have motivated me to do medicine. And then I've talked about not being deterred by the challenges as well. Um, I've already spoken about that in my essay when I did the paragraph on the challenges and with the surgeon. So yeah, I'm not introducing any new information and I've reiterated the reasons why I want to do medicine, such as talking about better the quality of life for each patient and, you know, learning intellectually and practically each day. And, you know, I've talked about um, um, improving the skills and qualities. With this part of the personal statement, you're basically like, reminding them of the key points like these are the key points in my essay i want you to remember this because this is the last thing they're going to read this is the end of your essay it needs to have like an impact they want to be like okay okay wrapping up they're going to read that and they're, they're going to sort of remember the things in your essay so by saying deterred by the challenges okay yeah she's already spoken about the challenges in her essay she has um knowledge of that talking about skills and qualities yeah she has the skills and qualities so with this section, what do you want them to remember about your personal statement? Statement. What do you want them to remember about you? Um, yeah, this section is important. And to be fair, it took me a long time to write it, write it again, write it again. Like I was rewriting this section a lot, um, but yeah, it's good that you finish strong um, with the essay because that's the last thing they're gonna read. So with this personal statement, like it's really important that you draw from your experiences. Like I said before, if you have specific examples, even better because it gives it that personal touch. Um, also like um, talking about the skills and qualities that make you a good doctor, empathy, being able to work well in a team. Are you trustworthy? All these things are really important. They, you want to show that you have these things. You want to show that you are going to be a good candidate, that you are going to be good in medical school. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really hope it's helped you when it comes to structuring your personal statement, like really showing your motivation for medicine and like, you know, like drawing from your experiences. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn your notifications on so you know when my videos are dropping. Guys, all the best with your applications, all the best with your personal statements. Keep going. See you in the next one. Bye.